Hey y'all, I'm Ashley Nicole and welcome to my channel. I look phenomenal. That you do. Oh, I didn't need confirmation. So y'all, I finally did it. Finally, finally, finally. Like, it's been a long time coming. Um, for those of you that already know, I have been going after this goal since 2018. If you have not already noticed it, I finally got weight loss surgery. Yay! <laughs> I finally got weight loss surgery. Um, so, y'all, it has been a bumpy ride, but I can honestly say this is the best thing I have ever done for myself to myself all of that um y'all <laughs> so i got weight loss surgery on april 14th 2022 today is currently july 12th 2022 so i'm coming up on my three month mark coming up on my three month mark um yeah, I know a lot of people like to do stats or whatever, so I'll give y'all some stats that I remember. I was like, before my liquid diet, two weeks, before I started my liquid diet, I was 252 pounds. Um, surgery day, I was 240 pounds, so I had lost 12 pounds. Um, and I'm not telling y'all currently now because I haven't hit what I want to hit yet. <laughs> so... Um, yeah you guys just a quick update of months one and two i'm not gonna make this long <sighs> month one y'all i was like what did i do to myself what have i done why have i done it am i shallow like do i did i really need to lose weight this bad like i wasn't horrible um I, I, of course i'm like considered morbidly obese on the bmi scale but you know i still could go in some stores and shop you know i could still do some regular things and be regular you know whatever so i was like what did i do why did i need this so bad and because first of all the reason i was feeling this way is one i'm dramatic <laughs> let's be clear i'm dramatic um but two you know it was out of the norm for me and y'all know with change comes being uncomfortable so i was very 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 uncomfortable and i guess you don't realize how much you rely on food or how much you rely on things that you do every day because even though i didn't overindulge a lot i just liked eating and i liked the taste of food so because i couldn't eat for a whole month after the surgery and i already had two weeks on top of that from not eating for doing the liquid diet i was like what have i done i have made the worst mistake of my life i cry every day for the first month it did not matter how i saw my clothes on me it did not matter of the it did not matter about the compliments i was getting nothing i didn't care i was just miserable but then after that one month, like literally the next day after I hit my one month, I was like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It might be because I started eating some stuff. I, you know, you go, you have to go in stages, y'all. So you have like liquid stage for two weeks. Everyone is different. Let me say that first. Everyone is different. Every program is different. Every doctor is different. But my program, you do liquid for two weeks after the surgery. Then two weeks after that is like puree, like almost like baby food. And then um, after that, I believe it's soft food. So like eggs and um, fish and things like that, seafood. And then you can eat regular by the three month mark. So... I kind of skipped a little of the puree part and started kind of eating. And so I started feeling normal again a little bit. But I also was like referring back to the um, weight loss surgery pages I follow on Instagram. And it's like, it's very, very, very mental. This process is so mental. And I never, I always say that I was not a very mentally strong person i never thought of myself as a mentally strong person and so this process is really really 
growing me mentally and i'm so so grateful for it y'all like for real i have grown mentally so much that now my body has taken on my mental stability like i you know i i don't know if i'm explaining that right but i feel like that's how it wants to come out so because i am changing my mental state and i'm growing and it's getting stronger so are the my habits eating habits working out habits everyday habits things like that like my whole everything is changing and i absolutely love it so it's not just your body changing it's your mental changing my spirit i'm so much i feel so much closer to god things like that so yeah in month two has been a blast for me literally month two has been a blast and i am just ready to um keep going i'm really really ready to keep going and see what this journey has for me of course it's a journey so it's never gonna stop but I, they always say like the first year is when you lose the most amount of weight so i'm just ready to see within my first year journey what it has in store for me and i am working out every day um so yeah i i love it i love the way it makes me feel it doesn't feel like i am torturing myself anymore <laughs> and um so yeah if you're thinking about doing it do it but do your research that's all i will say i did four years four years worth of research on this surgery and it was still stuff i did not know but I feel I was where, well prepared. So do your research. Don't just do it because, oh, I want to be small or blah, blah, blah. Get your mental together. Please do not go in here and your mental state is not up to par. So the day of my surgery, y'all, it was so peaceful. Like everything went as it should and that's how i know that god was really in it for me because literally i had no stress i had no issues no troubles or anything like that from me walking into the hospital to me leaving on the next day it was really really peaceful of course i had surgery so you know, some things I was being dramatic and saying, you know, I had a lot of pain. Literally, I had no, I really had no pain. Once I think about it, it was like, it really wasn't that much pain. Um, I had no gas pain. And I think I give all credit to God because <laughs> I prayed so much, so much. When I found out about the gas pain, I had been praying. I guess, I don't know if it was four years worth, but I prayed so much to not have gas pain. And I literally had no gas pain pain i had no pain from the surgery at all everyone's experience is different i know some people you know will tell you oh you'll die from it or blah 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 get you a good surgeon and get you get, get right with god and you'll be okay <laughs> or whoever you serve i don't know but um yeah i mean it was a very very peaceful experience for me and to this day i do not regret it like i said the first month i did because it was just really really hard for me mentally um i thought it was a physical that i couldn't eat i just can't eat and blah 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 but it was really hard for me the first month mentally but yeah so i do have some clips i'll let you guys see those um and yeah I finally did it and I feel the best I've ever felt in my life. Um, and I pray that every day I can say that same thing. I feel the best I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> and like I said, if you're thinking about doing it, do it. If you really want it, if you really feel like it will benefit you, do it. I have so much more energy now with my baby. Like I, well, with my daughter, like she's four and has so much energy and I can do so much more now and I'm excited about that. I do have some video clips of my weight loss surgery journey, um, some of it, and all the way up until me leaving the hospital on um, the day after my surgery. So yeah, enjoy the clips.
good morning guys happy thursday i obviously did not make a intro to this video so i am currently at my pre-op appointment for um my surgery i just got my i did not bring my tripod so i'm looking all right so I just got my, um, the nurse just left and took my blood pressure and asked me how they want to triage questions and all of that. Now I'm just waiting for my doctor to come in. And all the notes says you're doing fine. Mm -hmm. Any heartburn? No. Smoker? No. Okay, good. And then Cook did that scope. I looked at it. It looks great. Okay. okay. Labs just looks fine. There's no hernia. It's a maybe a tiny redness, but nothing really. Uh, your labs from March look fine. Um, and a dietitian and psych said you're fine. You did the drug screening. It was clean. <coughs> Stay off of it, okay? Okay. I don't really care about drugs and marijuana per se. Uh -huh. The reality is, is smoking of any kind, okay. any kind of smoke, even vaping, is going to tear up your stomach. Okay. For sure, the bypass, but even asleep, gastritis, redness, pain, you're going to hurt. You're okay. going to go, I don't understand. I never had heartburn. Now, it's not heartburn. It's stop smoking. Okay. okay. Two is if you do something that increases your appetite, you're not going to have good results. If you need it for depression or for psych stuff or for anything like that, mm -hmm. edibles better than smoking. Okay. But I'm telling you, if you eat it and then you go, oh, we're having pizza, like the movies, it's not going to be good. Cool? Gotcha. Um, I'm going to order some basic labs for surgery today, but basically I think everything looks good to proceed. Do you have any questions as far as... you on a date of April the 14th. Okay. Um, however, that can change because we have been canceling surgeries this week. Okay. So, um, but we're hoping that with it being so far out, it should be fine. April. Not happy. So, we'll see about this. In the car, obviously, my surgery date as of right now is April 14th. COVID is not being my friend at all. We have beef and I don't know why. I ain't even do nothing. Maybe it's because I haven't caught it. Thank you, Jesus, that we have beef. But, um... Yeah, it obviously has an issue with me because it's been messing me up for the longest with getting this surgery. So, April 14th. I mean, I guess it gives me time to get myself together. Uh, Mardi Gras is March 1st. So, <laughs> so um, I'll have time to get that out of my system um, because March 31st, if everything stays the same, I'll be starting my liquid diet. So yeah, I mean, um, I guess it's kind of good actually that it's not like next month or March because I've kind of gotten a little overwhelmed with the thought of everything and this will give me time to um, kind of get my head together and which is crazy because like I said I've been literally sprinting after this since 2018 and I guess since it's upon me now it's a little bit more surreal but yeah um yeah I just want to thank you guys for watching and of course I'm going to bring you on my journey you guys are already on my journey um, uh, for this weight loss surgery. So, yeah. So, first things first on the list is definitely my Vaseline. I have to have my Vaseline. <laughs> um, I know I have to take um, a shower before going into surgery with my Hippoclans and my skin will be really, 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 really dry. So I'm definitely going to be taking my Vaseline. It is an essential. Okay. <laughs>
The next thing I'm going to be bringing is baby wipes. Um, a lot of the videos that I watched, people were saying that they were so glad that they brought baby wipes because a lot of times you're not able to take a bath or um, some people may even be bedridden. So to be able to refresh themselves and freshen up with baby wipes was great for them. So I'm going to bring baby wipes. Also, I'm going to bring some oil, oil, oral moisturizing spray. Um, I got the CVS brand. Other people use Biotin, but at the CVS that I was at, the Biotin was twice as more than this, but I'm sure to get the job done. Um, it is mint flavored and alcohol and sugar free. Um, they do intubate you and I'm sure your throat kind of hurts after and then you won't be able to really like gulp water because our stomach is going to be so small so um i heard these were lifesavers um keeping around the mouth <laughs> um i'm also bringing my lip oil i cannot stand to have chapped lips dry lips none of that so i definitely have to bring this which i also use my vaseline for it but these are especially for my lips now that is especially for my lips. Um, I probably don't even need to bring this. This is like, why? But I'm actually bringing some liquid bandage uh, for my wounds, just because um, I know some doctors put like tape and stuff on there. And uh, I think liquid bandage would be just a better option for me. So yeah, I'm bringing that. Um, I have a toiletry bag that I received from a nurse when I stayed in the hospital previously. Um, and in it, it is a toothbrush, some sanitary pads, sanitary napkins, could have just said pads, huh? Um, mouthwash, toothpaste, all travel size, and some soap. Of course, I most likely won't use the soap because I have reason to believe I'm only staying for one night. So I'm only packing for one night. Um, <laughs> so yes, this is um, a great help just to keep all my toiletries together. Next, I am bringing my book because I mean, I'm gonna have a lot of downtime when I'm not walking. So I'm bringing my book that I'm currently reading right now. Um, I'm not bringing like an extension cord or anything for my phone. So I don't know if my phone will always, will always be next to me charging. So uh, that's another reason I'm bringing my book. Um, yeah, next thing. So the next thing I'm bringing is my robe. Um, it is a pretty thick material. I am always cold, so I know it'll definitely come in handy. This is literally the robe I wore to have my baby five years ago. But um, yeah, so that is the pretty pink robe I'm bringing. Also, I'm bringing two pairs of slippers, which don't ask. Um, I really actually want to wear these, but I don't know if the bottoms will hold tight on the like very glossy hospital floor. So um, and if not, I have my knockoff Yeezy slippers that I love um, that I'll bring also. So yeah. Good morning. Surgery days. Um, right now, I'm just stark and raining really bad. But I'm closing up my bag. My mom is going to take it to the hospital before I come. My surgery is not till 11 a.m. It's currently 7.09. So the good part is I get to take my daughter to school. Um, and then I'll be going to the hospital after that. 
But yeah, after I drop my daughter off, I'm gonna come back home and wash with uh, a second time with the HIPAA cleanse. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, and then my sister is gonna bring me to the hospital because my mom is already gonna be there. So, yeah, it's surgery day. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I just got out the shower and um, washed with my HIPAA cleanse for the second time. I did it last night and um, just did it now. Did it just now. Um, and I just put my clothes on. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing in a little bit. Um, my mom was like, don't come cute. And I was like, girl, I'll try. <laughs> so the outfit I have on is the best I can don't come cute in. Um, I had to take off my ankle bracelets, uh, which made me sad. I don't know. It's like a part of my identity. But, um, yeah, so now I'm just getting ready. I'm about to leave in a little bit. My sister's going to take me to the hospital. And, yeah, my stomach is growling. It's been growling, but my stomach is definitely growling. Um... Not so much that I'm hungry, but it's growling. But anyway, yeah, I see you guys probably when I'm in the car. So the lighting is horrible in here, but this is the outfit I have on. Just some sweatpants from Walmart, um, my Uggs, and a shirt I got from Forever 21 that says Jeremiah 29 and 11. On the back, it has the actual verse. I don't know if I can... On the back, it has the actual verse. Um, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, which um, is my favorite verse. So I just felt like I wanted to wear something encouraging. I didn't want to get a shirt made or anything. I know some people do that, but um, I just wanted something to uplift me and, you know, set the tone for the day but yeah that's my outfit of the day all right guys so i forgot to film me coming in the hospital but whatever um i just got registered got my wristband now i am walking to find my mom because um i think that's her i need my bonnet for my hair so yeah and then I'm gonna head up to the fourth floor for my surgery all right guys yeah. trying to fit my braids in this unaccommodating blue cap it's not braids my full locks you had to come on the other side So, my mom is putting two. Together, I have my IV. Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, good job, mom. Thank you. They could give us one more and I could... <laughs> No, I put it on the back again and I right back here. But you're good. It's covered. Black mamas. If you don't have one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Um it is officially day two. It hasn't been twenty four hours yet, but it's officially day two since I have gotten my surgery. And it has been a rough one, I have to say. Obviously, I haven't picked up my phone um, <laughs> at all. But just wanted to come and give you guys a quick update. I should be going home today as long as I get my fluids in, which I'm trying to do. Yesterday, I couldn't get in much. I was in so much pain. And it wasn't even the gas, um, actually. I don't, I think, to be honest, I've had minimal gas pain. Um, 
it was pain in trying to get my liquors down and my stomach would literally just have these sharp like pains. Um, someone referred to them as spasms, but whatever they were, it was a horrible feeling. And I slept most of the day, obviously, you know, from the anesthesia and the pain medicine they were giving me. Um, but yeah, so yesterday was pretty rough. I'm feeling a bit better today, obviously. Um, still having a little pain in my stomach area, um, but it's not as bad as yesterday at all. Um, I walked twice yesterday. Um, the first time I walked, I came straight back in the room and threw up. So, um, of course I did nothing after that, but then towards like 12 a.m., I started to feel better and I actually sat up and started drinking. I think that was the problem. I was like laying down and drinking and that was what was causing my pain. Um, so I actually sat up and I started drinking um, and then I decided to go for a walk um, and that was okay. So today I haven't walked yet, um, but I have been drinking. They keep giving me this nasty liquid Tylenol, like I hate it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so my doctor came in and saw me this morning and said the surgery went really, really well. I did really good. My stomach looks really good. It's, he said it's very small. Um, he took off the band-aids on my um, wounds and said that they're healing nicely and things like that and just to keep drinking and to walk. So yeah, um, that's the update. Hopefully I can go home today, but um, I am not a fan of pain at all. So that's just been my issue. Like when I'm in pain, I don't want to drink. I don't want to talk. I don't want to do anything. So <laughs> I guess that's hard headedness. I don't know. But when I'm in pain, I am like off. <laughs> I don't want to talk, do anything. But yeah, guys, I am okay. I'm alive. <laughs> and I made it through surgery. Yay. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. So I've been discharged. And I just have on this romper. I look crazy. But it is what it is. Um, I'm waiting on my mom. To come and get me she went to church um she stayed with me last night but she went to church um and yeah so i just got my ivs out i had two um my whole stay really so just got those out just took off i think it was like a heart monitor so i had a whole bunch of like stickers and stuff on me took all of that off i can't wait to take a shower when i get home um my stomach is okay it's not too um bloated or anything i um did ask for some pain medicine earlier because i don't i guess it's like my actual stomach that hurts on the inside so um that was that was hurting a bit and it gave me some oxy and it helped a lot but it put me to sleep which of course i don't mind but um <coughs> yeah i am just ready to go and get in my bed and not have people knocking on the door every 45 minutes, <laughs> 30 to 45 minutes. But you know, that's a hospital stay, so. But yeah, I will show you guys my um, wounds later. I have one right here, my belly button, right here and right here, and then one under, then one here. Um, so I only have five, which is nice, and they're pretty small, so I think they're going to heal really nicely. But yeah, guys, um, I guess I'll show my room right quick. It's nothing really special. This is all the, like, broths, and I think that's crystallite broths my tub of water i'm gonna finish these before i leave um that's just three ounces of water 
Um, I need to just pack up the rest of my things. Um, I have the breathing treatment that I actually haven't even really been doing just because it's painful. They brought me more bras. I'm watching Harry Potter. Um, but yeah. This is my view from my room, which is really nice. Of the city, right on Canal Street, because that's where the hospital is located. But yeah, so it's pretty much my room, bathroom, and I do have a sink over here. But yeah, guys, I'm ending my stay and I'm going home. <laughs> I'm excited.